Damon Khan here, four seconds out with Xavier Miller and Yusuf Kamari. We just witnessed the weigh-in. I know you're supporting Small Spartan Jay ahead of his fight uh, this weekend. But first of all, I'm hearing Xavier. Got a title fight coming up for Yusuf Kamari. What's the situa situation there? Yeah, English title fight at lightweight, moving up. Um, really looking forward to it. 9th of March? 9th of March. 9th of March, yeah. How was he looking heading into that fight? Yeah, fantastic. I mean, we really need to move up in weight a couple of years ago, really. So, um, yeah, looking to 14. Now, you're going to look up at that weight. Um, you know, everything's going well in camp. And, um, yeah, you know, we're, me and Yusuf are always, we're always happy together anyway. We've been a team for so long that it's just natural every day we're in the gym. Yusuf, coming to yourself, um, you've had opportunities before. Some haven't gone your way. Some have. feel like you've got to really grasp this one heading into this title fight. Yeah, most definitely. I feel like I'm at a stage in my career where, but to be honest, I was going to say every fight's a must win. I was going to say this fight's a must win, but to be honest, you got to go in your career like every fight's a must win. And, you know, I'm, I'm in the gym. I can usually do train hard, listen to my team, listen to my coaches, and I'm going to go out there and do a demolition job. I'm not playing no flipping games anymore. Like you said, stuff ain't gone my way. You know, close decisions gone the other way, close decisions become a draw. I'm not fucking about anymore. Forget all of that. I'm going to go out there and do a demolition job. And I'm going to take home whatever title is for, I'm taking it home. Great words, but the action has to follow too. But in your own words, what's the target for this year, 2024? What are you looking for? I want to pick up some belts. I ain't won, I ain't won nothing yet in pro boxing. So I want to go out there, collect some belts, starting with whether it's the English title, whatever title, whatever title there is, I'm going to go out there and win it. You know what I mean? A lot of these guys are too scared to fight each other. They want to fight unknown guys and fight guys from across the world that nobody's heard of. And they ain't, they ain't got the balls to go and fight each other. I'm different, I'm gonna go out there and take the fights that nobody wants to take, you get me? And it's a little warning to the people then, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a cherry pick that's gonna go wrong. So if you think just cause I got two losses and one draw, you're gonna come, you're gonna come and, and, and get an easy win against me, think again. I'm gonna cause a big problem for your career and I'll damage any prospect out there. Strong messages sent down. I know that you've also been assisting Small Spartan Jay in his fight this weekend with the body shots and all that, I've seen the little clips and that. Um, good fighter, is he, heading into this one? Yeah, fantastic fighter, you know I mean? He trains as if he's a pro. He's taking this very, very seriously. A lot of guys in the see the misfits think it's a laugh and a joke, and they may be trained as if it's a laugh and a joke. He doesn't. He trains as if he's going in for a world title. You know, we've got to kick him out. It means I've got to kick him out of the gym. I say, listen, go home and rest. But he don't want to rest. He's in the gym all the time. So you know, I couldn't have asked any more from him in the training camp. He's given it his all. And Saturday night he's gonna go and show misfits the zone. He's like who he is. Fox is in trouble. Xavier, there are some in the industry, some trainers, I don't want to touch this scene, but boxing is for everyone, whatever stage, whatever level. What do you say to those who, when you're supporting a fighter uh, and you want to open doors, to not maybe shut doors to people who want to put on gloves and want to better themselves? I think that, listen, it doesn't matter what the format, as long as it involves boxing, it's good for boxing. I mean, if, you, if you've got a negative opinion on it, then, you know, it's, it's not going to help the sport. You know, the more eyes on the sport, the better for all the fights across the board, whether that's white collar, this misfits, professional boxing, you know, amateur boxing. You know, we all love boxing, so everyone's got a ceiling, everyone's got a level, and you've got to get in where you fit in. And I think this is a very good platform. You know, Spartan Jay, as you just said, you know, he's in the gym every single day. He trains really, really hard. And um, he's, this is not a joke to him. You know, he's looking to build his name off of this platform, and then he, he wants to turn pro. You know, we've had a conversation, and, and listen, the guy, the application that he puts in the gym, and you know, him and Yusuf have got a very good relationship. They know each other since they were like, like kids. So it's a family there. And um, we, me and Yusuf are going to support as much as possible. Hopefully he gets the win at the weekend. He's got Fox the G in the opposite corner trying to stop that happening. Uh, so if you want to pick your mind on a couple of things and you, Yusuf, uh, we had a big announcement. We had the big press conference as well too, the heavyweight division. And Joshua takes on Francis Ngannou up for the back of the two performances, Joshua against Wallin and Francis Ngannou versus Tyson Fury. Who are you favoring? Oh, definitely Joshua. I think Joshua still is, 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 is an elite heavyweight. You know, he's a former two-time world champion. He's, he's, got, he's got his pedigree, you know, he's a um, former gold medalist. I mean, listen, the guy is, he, he gets a lot, of, a lot of slack. I don't understand why, you know, he's a, he's a good fighter. Very, he's always been a good fighter. And he's always taken on good fights. His resume is, you know, is outstanding. So um, I don't think Ngarn is going to give him any problems, to be honest with you. I just think, you know, um, the unknown going into the Fury fight, you know, he landed a good shot. He actually did more than that, actually, to be honest with you, but... You know, he put up a good performance there, but Joshua, to me, I think he's either going to stop him late um, or, or get him out of there early. I just, I can't, I can't see it going to points, to be honest with you. Yusuf, for your point of view, for your mind, what are the things that Joshua will have to look out for off the back of the performance against Tyson Fury? Although he didn't get the win, he showed some good assets in the ring to trouble fighters at the top end. What do you think Joshua's got to look out for so he doesn't come out with a loss and into that fight? 
I think it's just in, just in Garner's power to be honest. In Garner's known to hit really hard. You know, fair play to him. He's had a really tough story and he's come out of it and he's gotten some massive fights in boxing. But I think that people are overrating him quite a lot. You know, he went into a fight and he did better than what a lot of, a lot of people think. But at the end of the day, he still lost. He didn't win, he still lost. He did well and he got a knockdown, but he still lost the fight. So people are overrating, they're happy about, you know, he got a knockdown and he might have won one or two rounds here and there. But any day he lost and you're going in against a machine, like, like my coach is saying, great minds think alike. You know, AJ's a machine, he's gone to the Olympics. He's, he's an out-and-out -out boxer. And I think he's gonna, he's, he's gonna go out there on the night and, and just show everybody that what happened the other time was a bit of a fluke. No disrespect to Francis Ngannou, but it was a bit of a fluke. It's only gonna happen once. So we just brought in a young gentleman here. Oh, it's Small Spartan Jay. <laughs> there we go. Missed you. Absolutely missed you there. Look, it got a bit, um, bit, bit back and forth there at the uh, face off. Just a little certain, certain man. He's just been chucking his mouth a little bit too much all over social media. And these men know me. I'm like that naturally. So it's very, it's very cool that I can keep nice and composed. You know what? Thanks to these two, I've been composed the whole camp, even now. So I thought, you know what? Let me show them a little bit of me, a bit of real me. And that's real me up there. So that's what I wanted to show. I can appreciate the confidence, but there's one thing going against you in this fight, and that's the tape on him. There isn't much on him. Do you feel that there's that bit of an unknown might be in his favor slightly, or do you feel that you you can handle anything that he brings in? Well, um, I'm being in a sick camp, and I'm prepared. I'm prepared for the best best fighter there is. I'm prepared for the elites. I'm prepared for the pros. So what the fuck is that kid gonna do to me? Do you know what I'm saying? And I've got a good team around me. We're Spartans, so we come as a team, as a unit. The team is strong. You don't even know. The team is strong, so if the team is strong, what the hell is going to stop us? You spar Yusuf? I have, I have before, he punched me up. And I'm proud to say hey. that, you know. We're sparring after the fight, me and him are going to have a spar, man. We're going to have a spar. That's if Zav lets yeah. us, if Zav lets us fully spar, then we'll do it. You spar I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I'll just watch, I don't mind. <laughs> but how do you feel those spars against pros, a good pro like Yusuf have brought you on? Bro, you, you, you learn you learn better like that. You put yourself in the deep end and you learn to swim. That's how that's how it is. And by putting someone way advanced in front of me, it makes me a better better boxer, a better person. It makes me learn faster. I'm like a sponge, my G. So I like to absorb every bit. That's how it is. Small Spartan Jay, I'll leave the final word with you. What happens on Saturday night? Energy, bro. Just good energy. You get me? Looking forward to the fight. Jay, Xavier, Yusuf, thanks so much for speaking seconds out. All the best for the weekend. Thank you.